second poem was written in honor of today. It is titled Black Hand, and I think in a lot of ways it speaks for itself. I am blackness. We are black and alone, the only brown face in the room of blonde and blue, shaking hands with bare teeth they can use for a smile. We are black and beautiful, which is often confused for beautiful but black. We are black and missing in pages of textbooks, storybooks, and songs, present often in flyers with ugly red letters that beg you to bring us home. We are black and educated, a surprise to pale men with shiny white smiles and tongues like snakes that slither through language and twist compliment to curse. We are black and joyful, hair pulled in tight rows, passed to home, decorated in beads of silver and gold, our crowns like halos reaching up from the ground. We are black and dancing, twisting on toes to tempos, throwing hips to old rhythms, hammering heels across stages, sidewalks, and living room floors. We are black and marching through streets and through life, singing hymns and harmonies, weaved into memory by the spirits through the veil. I see their faces in the shards of glass layered upon the trail as each step is but a mirror of their journey. We are black and hungry, starving and foaming at the mouth, wild in our animalistic desire to no longer feel caged to breathe, satisfied only by the smell of justice under our nose, fed only by turkey gravy over mashed potatoes and mama's chicken seasoned by daddy's mystery rug 